Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? It's Friday the 13th. It's March, and um, I'm in Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Illinois. I say Missouri every time. It's a wonder I didn't uh, put it in the GPS of Springfield, Missouri. Uh, but we're here picking up a load. Um, just want to say to everybody real quick, if you could, hit that subscribe button down there for me. Maybe give the video a like if you like it at the end. But let's get down to business. Enough with that stuff. Um, so I'm picking up a load right now. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about on this video. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a weekly recap. want to talk about um, a few other things that happened this week. So let me get to it. Uh, first things first. Um... I wanna, this video is in uh, in memory of my once uh, pristine CSA score that uh, Captain Butthead, um, I'm not kidding you, his name was like really close to being Butthead. Um, Officer Butthead got me yesterday. Uh, them boys in Illinois, and in, uh, in uh, Indiana, man. Them boys in Indiana. Wow, like they cut, they busting heads down there in Indiana, guys. Watch your butt if you're going through Indiana. Um, so this dude pulls me in. Um, I took a load from North Carolina up here to Illinois. So I was coming through Indiana right after you come out of Cincinnati. I went up that way to dodge tolls and bridges, toll bridges, and all that good stuff. So I went up that way. Um, you know, right there when you come off a 275 on a 74, there's that little scale on the right there uh, if you're going uh, west. So he, I pull up on the scale. He pulls me around back. Says I'm 500 pounds overweight on my uh, drive axles. Now, mind you, I weighed this product at the shipper. And they sell this stuff by the pound that they're selling, so they got a vested interest in having an accurate scale. Uh, North Carolina weighed me. Kentucky weighed me twice. But all of a sudden, I get to Indiana, and I'm over by 500 pounds. And I burnt, you know, a lot of fuel because it was a heavy load from, you know, I got fuel in South Carolina. So you think if I was overweight, I would have been like, probably a thousand pounds over on drives in North Carolina. I think North Carolina would have said something about that, but I don't know. Uh, like I said, Officer Butthead. So, um, he, he was actually, he let me slide the tandems to get it. Uh, I was over, he was saying by 500 pounds. I disagree with that, but uh, he didn't write me a ticket for it, so I didn't argue it with him. I did argue the second violation with him quite a bit, extensively. I was not happy about this. Um, so he got me for a log violation. You're going to love this one. This is how picky he was. Um, and uh, also, he said he, he said my truck wasn't registered properly. And I'm like, dude, like, it's registered properly because... I got a level three in uh, Montana last week. Cool. Got a level three in Wyoming last week. It was cool. All of a sudden, Indiana, he can't figure out what happened. And I told him, I said, the plate came off another truck. I had it switched to this truck. I just got this truck at the beginning of, or the end of last month. Oh, man, he could not figure it out. I was like, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those guys that hates all cops, but this guy was the type of cop that makes you hate cops. Holier than now, couldn't explain nothing to him. He was writing up every little thing, and then he's going to do me a favor and let me go because uh, he's just going to have to let my registration slide. And I'm like, you're not doing me any favors because you don't know what you're doing or your system isn't registering because, um, you know, I had two other states last week do level threes. I cannot wait to get back to Minnesota. I got a pre-pass waiting up there. Uh, they didn't have any in stock for me to take. Uh, the last time I left out, and man, I am like regretting that. Um, so, I don't know why. It's been like, it's been... You know, the last couple weeks have just been, everybody's pulling me around back. I guess they know I got the pre-pass coming or something. Um, 
But anyway, um, yeah, after he gets done uh, telling me my registration's all wacky, and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, I've got the cab card. I've got the I've got the sticker on the license. It, it all matches. It's just in your system. It's coming up as a different truck. And I'm like, it's got to be your system because it didn't happen in Montana, and it didn't happen in Wyoming. It only happened in Indiana. Um, but anyway, so he gets me for a log violation, um, and man, you talking about nitpicky. So he got me for an eight hour violation, the 30 minute break, the thing I loathe, the 30 minute break. So he got me for it. So I started my day Sunday at 7 11 a.m. I've stopped, I parked at 15 17. I was over by six minutes. And I told him, and it's even noted in the log before I gave it to him. That was in a parking lot. I was off the road, and it ain't, there's actually, you know, an off-duty. Like, once I got off the road, I went off-duty for like two minutes. I pulled into a Loves in Dandridge, Tennessee. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that Loves, but the way that the fuel islands are set up, if you try to go around the fuel islands to get to the, the parking on the hill, you can't get to it if their trucks are backed up fueling and that's what was going on it was like quitting time sunday it was all backed up so that's what really annoyed me i said you know number one i went off duty right here so that's when i made it to the parking lot legal i said i sat there and waited for trucks to move out of the way and i even noted it when i when i when i pulled up to go to the parking lot i went over five mile an hour because i didn't want to be that guy that was sitting there you know and the whole time of the six minutes is not driving it was just, it was six minutes over when I stopped driving. So I went off duty. I pulled into Love's parking lot. I had like two or three minutes left on my 30, before I needed the 30 minute break. Went off duty, sat there, waited for everybody to clear out, and then drove up the hill and parked. And I was over by six minutes. I made a note in the log that says, the drive on that on that driving time, I made a note of it. I put in parking lot at Love's, Dandridge, Tennessee. He was hearing none of it. You know what he told me to do? He said I should have went on yard move when I got there. And I explained to him that that's not legal to be on yard move in a truck stop parking lot. But that's what he recommended I do. So, this guy really knows his stuff. But anyway, I'm pretty heated about it because I had a squeaky clean, you know, man. I've had a lot of level threes and, um, you know... They've been squeaky clean, but now i got to turn this garbage into the company after I've sold it all, all up. I done faxed them a copy of it. Um, yeah, I am none too happy about it. So, um, let's talk about what happened this week a little bit. What kind of week was it? What did I do with that paper? Uh, okay, so... Uh, the load I'm picking up now is a absolutely fire load. Um, I have, uh, I don't know if that light helps or not. I don't know if y'all tune in to see my face or not, but, uh, it helps me read this paper. This load I'm getting right now, Springfield, Missouri. Um, I don't know. You, you gotta find the things that no one else wants to do. You know, you can't run, uh. You know, you, you can't run the simple runs. You know, everybody wants to be in Texas right now. Everybody wants to be in Florida. Um, you know, they don't they don't want to deal with winter. Uh, they want the simple, you know, I-10, running up and down I-10, I-20. Uh, don't get me wrong. That's what I want to be doing, but the money ain't there. So, I took a load from Springfield, Missouri. There I go again. Springfield, Illinois. Uh, one pick five drops um washington dc maryland area yeah yeah i know um but um it's it's a it's good it's good times it's over four dollars a mile i'll put it to you that way it's that good so um what have i been doing this week so here's what i've been doing um so I did about 2,500 miles this week. 
Um, that's last Friday to today. Uh, did about 2,500 miles. Um, did $6,300 in revenue on said 2,500 miles. That's about 252 a mile to the carrier, 201 a mile to me. Um, ballparking, I spent, oh, I don't know. I spent, uh, hang on, quick math in my head. Hang on, hang with me. Um, I spent 1100 uh, excuse me, I spent about 1270 on fuel this week. So it was kind of a higher, uh, and a lot of that is reefer fuel. Um, you know, I had uh, I had a negative 10 degree load that had two picks and seven drops. So that reefer door was coming open a lot. And at negative 10, you know, so a good chunk of that is reefer fuel. I'm pulling a 10 year old utility trailer right now. So this thing's gotta go. Uh, it's killing me on fuel. Um, but that's where we're at. Um, you know, been getting fuel for around the two, like the 250 range. Um, I got it here in Illinois earlier for 246 with a uh, discount earlier. And that's pretty good because a lot of Illinois fuel price is built into uh, it's IFTA credits. So should get some really good credits back on that situation. Um, but yeah, this coming week, I don't know if revenue will be as high this this week as last week. But um, I've had a couple, you know, I've already did a one load that was pretty profitable. Well, excuse me. No, that load was on last week. So the load I'm doing right now will be the beginning of my week. It's going to be really profitable. It's not super high revenue. I mean, it's only an 800 mile load, but like I said, it's paying over four bucks a mile. So uh, it's going to be really profitable. And that wraps up Tuesday morning um, around uh, in uh, Northeast Maryland. It's the name of the town that I finish up in. So it's, you know, it's going to be like a three to four day, yeah, it'd be four days, I guess Tuesday, I don't know, because I got like a three o'clock in the morning appointment and then like a seven o'clock in the morning appointment. So hopefully I can get reloaded Tuesday and uh, get my rear end back over to Minnesota or at least somewhere where the money's good. Um, I'm not too crazy about the money coming out of Maryland right now. I've been looking at that a little bit, but I figured... You know, if nothing else, you know, I can run back to the Midwest in 800 miles. So, uh, you know, getting $4 going in, if I can squeak out, you know, if I get two coming out, you know, we're going to be looking good. We're going to be in good shape for an average. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what's been going on. Um, let me drink some of my truck stop water here. I'm a little dry. If you know there's one place that will never run out of water, it's the truck stop because they're charging so much for a case of water. Nobody's going to go in there to stock up. Truck stops will be the last place on earth that has water, you know. I got a I got a case of water earlier at Love's and it was up to uh $5.99, $6.99 for, you know, a 24 pack of water. I'm like that's uh, you know, they'll always have water they're never going to run out at that price but that's what's been going on guys i'm going to hop off here now just wanted to check in with everybody drop you a little video of what's been going on this week um diesel prices are down and uh mileage rates are up if you're willing to go to the places no one else wants to go to um so you know we'll see how it shakes out but take care of each other out there guys if you stayed with me this long gold star and cookies for everybody Later.